This health tip is brought to you by Desert View Hospital and Mountain Valley Physicians Group. Don't put your health on hold. We have time for you. Call us to schedule your appointment. 775-751-7100. Greta asked us to conceal her identity. She used to suffer with seizures, having up to three a day as a child. And it's scary because anything could happen to you. She took prescription medication, but it had nasty side effects like liver spots, severe headaches, and bleeding gums. I could eat a piece of bread and my gums would start bleeding. Then three years ago, she lost her insurance and turned to marijuana. And I have not had a seizure since. Or any side effects. The account interests Dr. Eduardo Locatelli. He's had 20 epilepsy patients tell him they've used cannabis this year, even though it's illegal where he practices. I can tell you it's not uh, making the epilepsy patients worse, but I need to answer the other question, does it make it better? Dr. Shirley Zelikovsky believes it may. She sees patients with terminal illnesses and chronic pain. They've told me that it just makes them feel better and it reduces the need to take the other medications. Something Richard Corso is worried about. His back pain is so severe, he's on hospice level pain pills. If you make a mistake with that, you just, you don't get another chance to die. The CDC has no reports of marijuana induced deaths, but every 19 minutes, someone dies of a prescription overdose. You can't overdose on marijuana, but you can on the other drugs. And get this. Recent studies show opioid drugs used to relieve pain in cancer patients may stimulate the growth and spread of tumors. But experts from the UK say that the cannabis plant has been used to treat everything from cancer and glaucoma to Crohn's disease and multiple sclerosis. Even so, a consultant for the Drug Free America Foundation, Dr. David Gross, says smoking the drug is not the answer. My concern is there's going to be no control whatsoever. On, on the use of, 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 of the marijuana the way it is now. Possible side effects could include impaired memory, anxiety, lung damage, and weakening of the immune system. What happens is you have the psychedelic, psychoactive effects as well, on top of all the toxins, you know, benzene, toluene, xylene, all carcinogenic agents. Still, he does see value in scientists isolating the cannabinoids to do more studies on the health impacts and standardizing the dosage. And I look forward to that, but I look forward to doing it the right way. As for Richard, I would like to try it. As long as it takes his pain away. I'm Marty Salt reporting.